Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are a subscriber and welcome if you are new here. I would love it if you would subscribe. I try to like upload whenever I can basically. I mostly film vlogs but sometimes I do fashion content and that's what we're gonna do today. So if you're interested in that then you can follow me on Instagram where I post like loads of outfits and stuff. So yeah, just disclaimer. You might hear the train because I live near a train station. I've got all of the windows closed. I've got all the doors shut. I'm absolutely boiling. But yeah, I'm really sorry if you can hear the train. I'll try to like cut it out. This is Bianca. She's just chilling. So you may have seen the cargo parachute pan trend going around. Everybody wants to get their hands on some cargos or some parachute pants. I've been wearing oversized trousers for so long just because they just make me feel so much more comfortable and I've got loads so I thought why not go through all of them I might as well try them all on and then you don't have to do you know what I mean I'll insert a clip of like me wearing them but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear the same top the same shoes just so you can kind of like focus on the trousers and see like how the fit is different if that makes sense I will talk about the price and everything like that as well. So the first pair that I bought are these green, they're called flight pants from Urban Outfitters. I got these in a 30 waist and a 32 length and I wish I had got them in like a longer length because they are the perfect fit trouser but they're too short on me because I'm quite tall. Well, I'm not quite tall, but I'm like just a little bit over average. So these I think were 59 pounds. I would definitely say it's worth it because the quality is really good. The material is really, really nice. And I definitely will wear these over and over again. The only problem is, is you have to pre-order them. They just have like a little label on the pan pocket. What's nice about these is, so if you know much about this trend, basically 194 local release like over trousers, which is basically what everyone is replicating. But the thing is with those pants is that because they're over pants, they don't have any pockets. The pockets go straight through to your skin. So it's really nice having like the same style of trouser, which is a little bit thicker, but with pockets, obviously. I would definitely recommend these from Urban Outfitters. The next pair, I got sent these from Dickies, but from Urban Outfitters. These are a really nice cargo pant that you can make into shorts because they've got that zip detail here. So I went hiking the other day and one of the girls who I was hiking with had these but from Crag Hoppers where you can like unzip the, the bottom of the trouser. It was just really nice like having that option when you're hiking or like when it's hot and stuff. So, and the way that these fit are so nice. I got mine in a waist 36 and I would say I usually wear a waist 32 to 34 if it's gonna, 32 is gonna be like perfect, 34 is gonna be a little bit big and 36 is like, like a really nice oversized fit. These are one of my favourites. I'm not too sure how much they were, but I got gifted those, um, but I will put the price on the screen. Next pair are these, are these Nike ones. These were 60 pounds, I believe, and I got them in a large. I got them from ASOS. I can't seem to find them on the Nike website, which is such a shame because they fit so nice and they are so comfortable. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but they are Nike and they are very, very, very comfortable. So I definitely recommend these. These, because these are a large, they fit nicely. I would definitely say size up if you want them to be a little bit more baggy because I think that these are supposed to be like a tapered fit. So if I had got like a medium, which is my normal size, they would have been a little bit too skinny. Um, but I love the way that these fit. These I had to just see what they were like. So I ordered them. I will 100% be returning them. They are the Motel Rocks um, parachute pan. They really wanted to copy the 194 local. They've got, they're really, really thin. I suppose that these would be quite good for summer, but the material is just way too sheer. I don't know if you can see, but you can kind of see like my hand through those. 
I won't be wearing these at all and they were like 50 or 60 pounds. Um, they feel like really, really bad quality. They've already, in fact, they've come with a rip in. I haven't even tried them on. Well, I tried them on, but I haven't even like worn them out, do you know what I mean? So I will 100% be returning those and I don't recommend. If you look on the Motel Rocks website, you'll see that they look really, really nice. And the reason for that is because they've shot all the pictures with flash. So it makes the pants look like heavier than they actually are, if that makes sense. So definitely, definitely do not recommend these ones. Unless you are looking for like a really, really thin, baggy trouser for like say holiday, but I would say that they're just too expensive for what it is. The next pair of pants are these. I'm so sorry if you can hear that noise outside. These are from Seventh Stores. I have these in mint as well that I bought for Adrian, but I can't seem to find them anywhere. These were 110 pounds, I believe. And I got mine in an XL and I would definitely recommend sizing up, if not twice, because they just, I don't know, maybe I've just got thick legs, I don't know. They just would have been way too skinny if I had got like a medium or even a large. Obviously I've sized up, but I do really like the way that they fit. They're a really, really good quality as well, which is great. The only problem is, is that they get dirty so quickly because they're white, obviously. I would recommend these if you are looking to spend a little bit more money. I do think the quality is there. I really wanted the Seven Stores ones when I first saw them online because I thought like they will definitely fit really, really well and the quality looked really good online. Um, and I really wanted like the black or navy ones because I don't have a pair of navy ones. The Nike ones are a bit navy, but I didn't have a pair of navy ones at the time, but they were all sold out. The only pair left was these and the mint ones. So another pair of cargos, I would call these, that I got. So these cargos are from Dickies Urban Outfitters. They sent those to me as well so i'll find out the price and i'll put it on the screen i really really like these they are a more like fitted shape which is really nice in comparison to say like the first very first urban outfitters ones i showed you which like gives a good like variation when wearing stuff not everything goes with like massively baggy trousers yeah i got those i think again in a waist I got those in a waist 34 and they fit quite oversized and nice. Yeah, I would definitely recommend those if you're looking for like a more, if you're looking for more like a cargo pant rather than like parachute massive pants. The next pair are the 194 local ones in black. I wear these to absolute death. These cost me about 80, I think between 60 and 80. Maybe they've put their price up now because obviously everyone wants these. These I got in a large. The sizing's really weird. So I'm five foot seven. These fit perfect on the leg length, but they're massive on the waist. So, but they've got like a little string so you can tie it. And it also makes them look a little bit nicer because like you can puff them out a little bit. I wear these to death. I've definitely got my money's worth out of these. They go with literally everything. You can wear them with like a really, really tight top if you want to, not really my vibe, but um, you can also wear them with like something that's like really baggy or, you know. I also have them in this beige color. I got, these were the very first um, pants that I got from 194 local because they only had these in this color in stock. I wasn't really aware of the sizing at the time. So I got these in like medium, it doesn't really say the size inside. I got these in like, no, I got these in a regular and perfect, they fit perfectly. They're massive on the waist, but like a good massive because you can adjust, but they're just a little bit too short on the leg, like they just fit my ankle, exactly like the Urban Outfitters ones. But you can wear them like quite low waisted, exactly like the Urban Outfitters ones. If you want something that you can wear low waisted, then get the regular size if you're the same height as me. Definitely would recommend these as well, love them. I went hiking in them, they were very, very comfortable. Next pair I got are these 
These are like in between a cargo and like a really baggy pattern. Are these from ASOS? These are like the collusion. This is like the, from the collusion. Oh no, ASOS design. Got this in a medium and I thought I got them in a, in a large. I really like these because they're just a little bit different than all the rest. Um, you can tie the end of the trousers, but I quite like them just open like that. They're brown as well and I don't have any other brown ones. So these are like a really casual one. You can dress this up and down. But yeah, I, would, I recommend these. The, the material is really nice. And when I read the reviews on this, because you can read reviews on ASOS now, it was like the, the material's awful, but I actually really like the material. It's not really, really thin, but these are perfect for summer. Maybe these were like between 20 and 40 pounds. I'll have to double check. I think this might be my last pair. I got these, again, they have like the bit at the bottom where you can tie them from ASOS, from the collusion. So these are the collusion version. They only had these in an XL, but I love the way that these fit. The material, like these are really, it feels like, it feels like cotton, obviously it's not. These feel really, really nice. They're a little bit thicker than those brown ones. Those brown ones are like really, really breezy. But these black ones are like more, I don't know if the word's starchy. Do you know what I mean? Like when they're like thick and yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, these are really nice. They fit really, really nice. And you can cinch them in at the end. And that basically concludes all of the cargo pants I have. I hope that that was helpful. I basically recommended every single one of those except for the most hell rocks ones. So maybe not so helpful. If I had to pick top three, I would say the 194 local ones because I've worn those to death and those are like the ones that I will grab straight away because I just know that they go with everything and I feel the most comfortable in them. So definitely the 194 local ones. I really love the Dickies as well, both the cargo and like the ones that you can detach and make into shorts. And then I'm gonna have to say, it's so loud in this area. I'm so sorry if you can hear that drilling or whatever it is. And then I'm gonna have to say the Nike ones because they're super comfortable, very casual, but like you can make your outfit look really, really put together. So I would say those, but honestly, I recommend all of them because they're so nice. But sometimes I struggle to find trousers that complement my body shape because I've got quite wide hips. So sometimes it's really hard to find a pant that like fits on the waist, fits on the hip area, but then isn't, and then like also fits like at the bottom, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed my little cargo haul. If you want outfit inspiration though, immediately, go to my Instagram, because I've probably taken a picture in all of these and posted that on my Instagram, so yeah. Hopefully I will see you next week with a vlog. Let me know if you have any fashion videos that you would like me to film or any other type of video. I'm definitely open for suggestions. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.